continuing from a previous video on Cambridge International Exams, Paper 4, uh, taken from May, June 2005 exam. Electronic calculators are allowed. I did question number 1, and now I want to do question number 4. So I would like to finish about from A to G in 10 minutes, if possible. So let's look at question number, uh, the first question A. Find the value of PQR. Now this is a function, f of x is 2 to the power x. For x between negative 2 and 4, inclusive of both negative 2 and 4. So this is a table from negative 2 to 4, and f of x is 2 to the power x. So here, x is negative 2, so p would be 2 to the power negative 2. And that will be 0 0.25. You can use your calculator. This is 0. Point. Let me write that properly. That is 0. Point, 0. Point 0.25. So this is 0. Point 0.25 or a quarter. Okay. Now Q would be same way. It will be 2 to the power 0. Okay. I'll show this on a calculator. That would be 1. And R would be Q to the power 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So let me show you 2 to the power 2 raised to negative 2 is 0 0.25. Now to explain that, if you want to do without the calculator, 2 to the power negative 2 is same as 1 over 2 to the power 2, which is 1 quarter. And that's how you get 0 0.25. Okay? So your P... I can write this 0 0.25, my Q is 1, and my R is 8. So question number 1 is done. Use a scale of 2 centimeters to 1 unit on your x-axis and 1 centimeter to 1 unit on your y-axis. Draw the graph of this function, of this. So this is, a, I uh, used a program called SmartBoard to... So this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. So this is 2 centimeters is 1 unit. So let's plot the points. So when x is minus 2, y is, or f of x is 0 0.25. So how will you plot that? So let us take, say, the brown color. So x is minus 2. So this is half. So very close to, so this is 0 0.25. It's very difficult to plot, though. Okay, when x is negative 1, y is, so this is your negative 1, so y is 0 0.5, so it's somewhere here. When x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1, y is 2. Okay, so when x is 1, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 3, y is 8, so 8 comes somewhere here, and then x is 4, y is 16, so this is the graph, and now this is called an exponential graph, so let me use a blue color here, so join the points by a smooth line curve, or smooth curve, okay, so it doesn't matter, uh, uh, so let me go back, I can do that better, so I'll try it again, Okay, so that is fine. Keep going, and so this is your graph of, so it's always good to write, this is y is equal to 2 to the power x. <coughs> now this is called a growth curve or an exponential curve. Okay, so that's done. So this equation B is done. Use your graph to solve the equation 2 to the x is equal to 4. So what does this question mean? In this graph, for this graph of 2 to the power x, when does your graph become 7? That's the question. So I'll show you like this. So this is a 7. So join it. So join. this is, so they're basically asking what's your value of x when y is 7. So you drop it down. So I'll estimate like this. So it seems to be 2.9. I'm making a guess. So that's quite possible. So 2.9, we'll check this on a calculator. So my x, this is my guess. So 
So using the graph, solve the equation. So I use the graph when x is, sorry, when y is 7, what's the value of x? So I can say x seems to be 2.9. So how will, how will I check? 2 to the power 2.9, so this is how I will check. 2 to the power 2.9 should be around 7. So let me see. So 2 to the power 2.9, it will not be exact. It's 7.4. Okay, so my guess is slightly over. It doesn't matter. That's what the graph tells me, so that's fine. Okay. Now, question, this is done. What value does f of x approach when x decreases? So the question is, when x is approaching, or when x is decreasing, what's happening to your y value, or f of x? That's approaching zero, okay? So you can say f of x approaches zero. This is a very important concept when you learn calculus later. When x, f of x approaches zero, when x decreases. So that's enough, so that's done. On the graph, by drawing a tangent, estimate the gradient of the graph for f of x when x is equal to 1.5. So when x is 1.5, so this is your 1.5. Let me use this color. Say so this is 1.5. So this at this point, they are asking us to draw a tangent. Now tangent is a line which just touches the graph. So I'll use this arrow. So this is this is a tangent. Okay, just touching. Okay, so yeah, they're asking us to estimate the gradient of this line. Now, gradient is rise over run. So what will I do? I will take this point. So this point, this is say 1.5. This point, so let me oops this point is 1.5 I'll write this like this 1.5 comma this is, seems to be say 1.5 so this seems to be 2.9 1.5 2.0 yeah that's what we said 2 point uh, 2 point 9. Okay, so when this is 1.5, so this seems to be 2.9. So this point, if you want to find the, if you want to find the gradient, uh, you need to decide what's the run and what's the rise. So I'll take this point. This is my run, and this is my rise. Okay, I hope you understand. Okay, okay. Now this point seems to be, this point seems to be 2.9, uh, 4.9, isn't it? 2.9, okay, or can we see this is 3, that's almost 3, and this is almost 4.9. Okay, so let me make a guess, it's only a guess, okay? So the run is from 1.5 to 3, so your run is 1.5 and your rise is 2. Okay. So your gradient, you have to only estimate, so your gradient of that line is rise over run. So your rise seems to be, my guess, a good guess is rise is 2, so 2 over 1.5, which is 20 over 15, 5 goes in 24 times, so 4 third is the gradient. Okay, so let me finish it off. On the, the same graph, draw the line y is equal to 2x plus 1. So 2 is the gradient and 1 is the y-intercept. So let me change color. So let me delete this. Okay. So, so you, you want to find, draw a line, which is y is equal to 2x plus 1. So this is your y-intercept, and then you have to go up, run 2, and rise 1. Sorry, rise 2 and run 1. So this is of one point, and so again you have to rise 2 and run 1. So this is the line. 
So I'll draw a line. So you have to go from here to here, go up to 4. So this line, the equation of this line is y is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay. So this is your line, y is equal to 2x plus 1. Because your y-intercept is 1 and your reason 2 gone 1. Again, reason 2 gone 1. Okay. So that's the line done. Okay. And finally, use your graph to find the non-integer solution to this. Now, what does this mean? This means, where do, where do these two graphs intersect? Okay. So they're asking you to use your graph to find the point of intersection. So this is, seems to be the point of intersection. So the point of intersection seems to be 2.8, 6.9. Okay, so I'll write the point of intersection is 2.8, 6.9. Okay, so let's check whether it does make sense. This is 2.8, yeah, 2.9 doesn't matter, and 6. .6 what did we write? 6.9, that's fine. See you in the next